I'm Thor Moody. I am Corporate Product and Education Training Specialist for Delorier, and I'm here today to talk to you about concrete test cylinder molds. Before me, we have an array of test cylinder molds that are offered by Delorier, uh, including uh, custom colors, yellow, white, orange, and our flagship mold, which is our dark mold here. We have uh, two basic styles of these uh, molds, large rim and what we call small rim or no rim. I'll walk around so that you can maybe see these. And the real difference, it's just a matter of personal preference, but if you're making uh, samples in a uh, no rim or small rim mold, you need to make sure you use tight fitting lids that keeps this top of the mold round. Not so much a problem with the large rim molds, but it's a matter of personal preference. Our flagship mold, and this one's generically printed, so it's got the information on there that you need to include with every cylinder that you make. These are made from recycled material, and they will also biodegrade when they're placed in a landfill. Uh, you can't really recycle these because of the concrete that adheres to them. Recyclers want them so clean that most people are not willing to spend the time and effort to clean them to the degree, to the degree that a recycler will take them. So our answer to that is to make our molds from recycled material. And then we have a proprietary additive that replaces about 1% of the resin in the mold. And that allows the mold to biodegrade when it goes into an active landfill. And in about three to five years, that mold will be gone. Uh, so that's the big selling point for our flagship mold. We offer four different sizes, six by 12, four by eight, three by six, and two by four. The 2x4 typically would be used for mortars, the 3x6 typically for grouts, the 4x8 and 6x12 for normal concrete. How do you select the size to use? Two ways. One, you have to check the job specifications to see if there is a size that is specified for the project. If not, you have a choice between a 4x8 or a 6x12 and the size would then be dictated by the size of the coarse aggregate in the concrete mix. Uh, that's the stone. And the cylinder mold must be in diameter at least three times the nominal aggregate size. So if it's inch and a half rock, you would have to use a six by 12 or two inch rock for that matter. If it is one inch stone, then you can use a four by eight. And that's what most people prefer. ASTM uh, used to dictate that for acceptance testing, a six by 12 would be used or when specified a four by eight. That was changed, the words when specified were removed, so now it says 6x12 or 4x8. When making cylinders, the tamping rod size is dictated by the cylinder mold size. The larger mold, the 6x12, you use the 5 inch diameter tamping rod, which is hemispherically tipped on both ends. For the 4x8, the 3x6, or even the little 2x4, you use the smaller tamping rod, which is 3 8 inch in diameter, also hemispherically tipped. In addition to the tamping rods and the molds themselves, we also carry tight fitting lids for all sizes and styles. And we have three styles of lids. We have flat, we have domed, and we have high domed. It's just a matter of personal preference. Uh, they all work the same. When you come back the next day to take these cylinders into the lab to be stored and cured, uh, if you pull these lids off, they should have moisture on the inside of them, and that's how you know they're working.